Hello and welcome to Traders and Investors. I'm glad to present you the daily market review prepared by analysts and experts from FX.su portal. Here we go. Today is September 26 and we're starting from main major EURUSD presented by Dimitris Tsubas. Early in the European session, the euro was trading around 1.0584. Yesterday, during the American session, the euro broke sharply from the strong support at 1.0620 and reached the, the low of 1.0574. On the H1 chart, we can see that the euro left a bearish gap of around 1.0725. EUR is expected to return to this area in the coming days and cover this gap. Christine Lagarde, president of the European Central Bank, said that interest rates would remain high for as long as necessary to control the inflation. The ECB rhetoric could favor the recovery of the euro in the next few days. For this, EUR USD should consolidate above 1.0620. The key level to watch for the next few hours is the strong resistance at 1.0620. In case the euro consolidates above this level, it could be seen as a clear signal to buy with targets at 200 EMA, located at 1.0665, and at 08 Muri level, located at 1.0743. If the euro continues to trade below 1.0570 and falls below this level, a bearish acceleration is likely to occur and the instrument could reach the psychological level of 1.0500. On the H1 chart, the support 1 daily support level is located around 1.0560. This level could be seen as a clear zone of a technical rebound. In case the euro consolidates above this zone, in the coming hours, we could expect it to reach the level of 1.0603, the 21 SMA, and 1.0620, minus 1.8 Murray level. The eagle indicator on the H1 hour chart is reaching oversold levels. So, we expect the euro to consolidate above the 1.0560. Above this support, to buy with targets at 1.0620 and 1.0704. Zero 08 Muri level. The next stage of our review is the next major. It's JBBUSD Pound Sterling Dollar Pair, presented by Arif Mockmore. On the daily chart of cable, seller seems dominates this main currency pairs, where this thing confirmed by the movement below its moving average as well as the appearance of bearish 1, 2, 3 pattern, followed by bearish Ross hook. So that, in the next few days, GBP USD has the potential to nosedive below to test the level of 1.2009. As long as on its way to this level, there is no upward correction, which exceeds level of 1.2546. Because if this level successfully broken above, then the downward scenario that has been described will be invalid. Gold, sweet gold, we've got a trading plan for this commodity asset, presented by... Patari Kimovic. Gold has been trading downside as we expected. 
and the prize has reached first objective at 19.13. Anyway, sellers are in control, and Petar sees potential for the further downside movement. Due to the rejection of the resistance in the background and breakout of the support, Petar sees potential for the further drop towards next downside reference. Downside objective is set at the price of 19.00. RSI oscillator is showing downside trend continuation, which is good sign for further downside movement. Intraday resistance is set at the price of 19.13. And finally, here's Laurie Bailey with AUD USD pair focused. Let's have a look. The Australian dollar, judging by the sideways movement of the Marlin oscillator on the daily chart, is waiting for a resolution regarding the US budget in Congress. If the budget for 2024 is not passed, which is highly likely, then we expect the pair to rise in the 0 0.6775, 0 0.6815 range. On the 4-hour chart, the Aussie's plan for growth is supported by the price returning above the MACD indicator line, its blue line on graphic. Marlin is attacking the boundary of the bullish territory. The current growth is expected to be short term. A signal for medium term growth will be the price overcoming the MACD line on daily chart, coinciding with the target resistance at 0 0.6514, the high on September 20th. That's all for today. See you online soon and good luck.